Good evening, Hamlin County School family. Today is April the 6th, 2020. Please review the following information and contact Kelly Smith if you have any questions. Number one, we have closed the central office to comply with the governor's stay-at-home order. The central office will remain staffed with the central personnel, but we will not have our entire staff present. This reduction in staff includes our technology department and computer technicians. This lack of personnel will impact our ability to fully support the online high school curriculum. We are unable to repair laptops and provide the necessary technical assistance that many of our students may need during this time. For this reason, we will suspend any future assignments to high school students until our technicians are to return to work and get our laptops back to our students. However, it is important to understand that students are still responsible for any assignments that were issued prior to April the 2nd. Some high school classes may offer voluntary lessons if there are legitimate reasons to do so. For example, some of our AP classes may want to continue to ensure students are being prepared for the AP exams, and they may want to give additional work to ensure that students are successful. This work will only be voluntary and it is not required. Number two, the Tennessee Department of Education is partnering with PBS stations across the state to offer first through eighth grade students up to 30 hours of standard aligned instructional lessons per week during the statewide school closures. Beginning on April the 6th, 30 minute educational segments will air from 10 o'clock in the morning to 12 o'clock noon, Central Standard Time, Monday through Friday. The programs will be broadcast on the main channels of each of the six PBS stations across the state, which are listed at the end of this broadcast. Additionally, viewers can watch or record up to four more hours of content that will be broadcast overnight. The Tennessee Department of Education, in partnership with teachers across the state, will also produce curriculum to help students keep connected with the learning process while we are closed. They will produce English, English language, arts, and math lessons for first through sixth grades. They will also produce online lessons for seventh and eighth graders. These lessons will be available online starting April the 13th. Accompanying lesson plans and word packets will be posted on the department's websites for teachers and families to use, adapt, and build upon. Access the lesson plans and student work packets at the website listed at the end of this program. These programs are supplemental and are not required. Most families should have enough curriculum that the school district has produced, but we wanted to make sure that we gave you these additional options if you so desire. Number three. The school district will open online registration to all students on April 6th. Please complete the online registration process when it becomes available, if possible. You will need to know your login information and have a valid email to complete the process. It is not a problem if you don't remember your logins or passwords and can't complete the online registration. We will provide additional assistance later when we are able to return to school for those who don't remember this information and can't access the online portal. However, it would help us out tremendously if you can register online now. This will reduce the number of families we need to contact when we return back to school. The process is very similar to what we did last year, so attempt to register and update your contact information if you can. However, please don't let this be a frustration point for you. We can always do this later. Number four, we still have a few school employees who are considered essential and are still working during the stay at home order. These essential workers are required to travel during this time. Many have talked about a letter stating that they are essential and that they have a legitimate reason for going to work. We recommend that all staff members use their school identification badge as proof of their need to travel. We certainly do appreciate your attention to this broadcast and we hope that you're staying healthy and well at home. 
We wish you the best and contact us if we can be of any assistance to you.